and then the average permeability okay you you see that the reservoir is very very heterogeneous and we have many permeability values but at the end of the day we need to do averaging to get only one or only reduced or average permeability and there are several ways to average the permeability the first one is like this so if the flow direction is like this and you have for example three layers layer one layer two and layer three with permeability one permeability two permeability three with different thickness thickness one thickness two thickness three flow direction like this for example we can call it parallel flow this is the schematic parallel flow through three layers with different permeability and different thickness okay linear flows through layered parallel beds we can average the permeability using this method and the method is called arithmetic averaging so permeability one multiplied by thickness one plus permeability two thickness two plus permeability three thickness three all divided by total thickness h1 plus h2 plus h3 okay this is the arithmetic averaging and you need to know this this is the this one okay another depiction of the arithmetic arithmetic averaging but with different co configuration it's still parallel okay linear flows via layered by parallel stratums with different area so you have layer one layer two layer three with different permeabilities k1 k2 k3 different thickness h1 h2 h3 and different width w1 w2 w3 or different area area one area two area three you can average the permeability okay by waiting on the area instead of the thickness so you see k1 a1 plus k2 a2 plus k3 a3 all divided by total area a1 plus a2 a3 okay and a1 is calculated using this one h1 thickness one multiplied by width one okay or hi multiplied by wi okay this is also arithmetic averaging but area weighted okay weighted based on the area previously this is the weighted based on the thickness okay because they have same area area of the flow this is harmonic average permeability so this is beds beds in series harmonic average so the configuration is like this this is not parallel flow this is series flow with layer one layer two layer three like this one flow direction from the left to the right linearly you have layer one layer two layer three k1 k2 k3 length one l1 l2 l3 with the same thickness but of course they will experience difference different delta p so you have delta p1 delta p2 delta p3 okay and we perform harmonic averaging to get the average permeability so first we sum all the length l1 plus l2 plus l3 all divided by the summation the total of l per k for each layer okay so at the top at the numerator di pembilang we have l1 plus l2 plus l3 and for the denominator the penyebut kita tambahkan l per k di 1 l per k di 2 l per k di 3 kita tambahkan baru akhirnya kita bagi then we have harmonic averaging 
okay and this is harmonic average permeability but for radial flow again it is beds in series harmonic average you have the flow rate here okay and you have the drainage radius re but you have radius one radius two radius three with the same thickness and here you have your wellbore radius then you can perform this harmonic averaging using this formula again this symbol is called sigma or the summation okay you need to know this you need to understand this because i might ask this in the test okay so it's very very important because this averaging method is also used in the reservoir simulation okay because the permeability in the model is heterogeneous they are all different there is no purely homogeneous permeability where the permeability is exactly uniform there is no such case so there will always be the averaging method okay this is for this is also harmonic average but for very 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 heterogeneous so they are irregular in shape and in depiction we can depict it depict it like this schematically or can like this k1 k2 k3 k4 5 7 6 with different shape different area different thickness different permeability different properties the beds are randomly distributed we can still try to average the permeability using this yeah using this equation if all cores have the same thickness then the averaging can be like this just k1 k2 k3 all the way through kn and all of them powered by one per n n is the total number of samples or if the thickness are different then it can be like this okay so first you need to sum all the thickness multiplied by the logarithmic natural of the permeability divided by total thickness and we do exponent so this is not esp but exp exponent so this is the another depiction first if you start with arithmetic averaging and then continue with harmonic averaging then it will be like this if you have this 16 layers or 16 units you start with this one different permeability with different length different thickness you do arithmetic averaging arithmetic mean then you will have this four layers with different length okay but they have same thickness okay and then you do harmonic averaging then you will only have one average permeability okay so this is very useful you can simplify this heterogeneous rock into one homogeneous rock but it is average so we can also say this is real realistic but this is the model because this is not real rock this is calculated rock using averaging method and this is arithmetic approach arithmetic mean arithmetic average this is the harmonic average okay so you can see clearly the expansion of the formula of the equation so it's quite easy actually but you can also start from harmonic and then and with arithmetic okay the result can be the same can be different okay but the difference will not be that will not be too big you start from here you do harmonic mean then you will have four for example four 
permeability for layers, but with the same length and different thickness, and you do averaging, arithmetic averaging, then you will have one value, one average permeability. If you have this in your simulation, then the simulation can be too long, the calculation can be too long, but if you have only one value, the simulation can be significantly faster. Okay, so averaging is very, very important in our simulation or calculation.